children. The school children were queuing up for lunch one day. At the beginning of the serving hatch was a large pile of free apples with the sign in large print, Take only one apple, please. God is watching you. At the other end of the counter was a pile of chocolate biscuits with a sign cleverly posted by one of the little children. Take all the biscuits you want. God is down at the other end watching the apples. Well, we know Jesus, who is God, is present everywhere, or as little six-year-old Martha said, outside of Mass, God is only present everywhere. But we believe at Mass, after the consecration, he is present with us in a very special way, under the appearance of bread and wine. Jesus said to the apostles in today's Gospel, I call you friends. Now, our friendship with Jesus means that we are also trying to be better friends with one another. We try and shake hands and make up with those with whom we haven't been that friendly. Or maybe we might have had little fallouts, but we try and make up afterwards. That's because we pray in the Our Father, every time we say it, and we'll be saying it at this Mass, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Let's always try and mean these words. Someone recently who does community work said to me that these days the church is becoming one of the better places where people can experience a genuine sense of belonging to a wider family outside their own natural family. We call it the household of God or the family of God. That's precisely what we are or what we're meant to be. Because of our baptism we are all meant to be brothers and sisters of each other. That is why we shake hands with each other at Mass before we receive Jesus in Holy Communion. As Catholics, we're not meant to be an exclusive club minding our own business. Everyone, including those who are not Christians, should be the object of our love and respect. Christ came on earth to establish a universal brotherhood and sisterhood of all peoples on earth. When that happens, it will be the end of war and conflict. We'll have a little bit of heaven here on earth. Jesus said, Let the little children come to me and do not stop them. I address this particularly to the adults. May there be nothing in our adult lives which would hinder these children from coming close to our Lord in the Eucharist as they continue to receive Jesus in Holy Communion May they grow up to live and love like him. Now, thank you all very much for listening. God bless you all. Oh.